What's up, folks? Late Bloomer here. Um, yeah, I finally got my gold iPhone 5S fixed. My new gold iPhone 5S. Replacing my silver iPhone 5S that got stolen at Electric Zoo last weekend, Labor Day weekend. Um, yeah, so uh, with my new gold iPhone 5S, uh, last time I did a video, I was on... I was driving to uh, the Apple store. Well, uh, guess what? Uh, I went there. I was a walk-in. It was Saturday, so Sunday today. So this was yesterday, Saturday. And um, they were fully booked. So I drove all the way to the Apple store to find out that they were fully booked and I had to make an appointment. And there was no, there were no appointments available. So I was uh, disappointed to say the least so I had to go so after that I went I went so far as to go all the way to the uh, main flagship store on 5th Avenue in, uh, in New York City and lo and behold guess what yes they were also uh, booked booked until 12.30 in the morning and that was their closest appointment um, well, you know, a little side note, I was waiting, as I was waiting in line on the QU, okay, the, one of the geniuses was already asking the guy in front of me about his issues, and then he walked away for a bit, and then he came back, and it was supposed to be my turn, right? Well, he asked, oh, who's next, who's next? And there were these two guys that said, oh, they were next. So, so he, as he was talking to them, I was like thinking... Damn, these guys are, these guys are rude. So I couldn't take it anymore. So you know what? I kind of, I kind of gave them an outburst. I said, you know what? I was actually next. You weren't next, but I was actually next. But you know what? Go ahead, go ahead, and uh, just talk to them. And I screamed this out. I, you know, I, I reprimanded these guys. And the guy's like, oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, you know, oh, he, he talked to me first. So I said, you know what? You know what? I was supposed to be next, but go ahead anyway. You know, so I I, I left the flagship store, kind of in a, in a bit of a angry mood. But you know, thankfully I went to the uh, the Lincoln Center one, and well, before that I I, uh, I um you know I, I um I actually made an appointment on my actual iPhone, made and made a reservation to uh to go to the um, Lincoln Center one, another Apple uh, store, which was pretty cool actually, it, it, it's a nice venue, dare I say it's it's almost as nice as the flagship store, but you know, it's not as uh, well known and it's not as crowded, so yeah, uh, I stayed there for about two hours, I, I came, I uh, left and came back for about three, three or four times, because they said it would be ready, but it wasn't. So I had I had my dinner around the area. Came back a couple more times, you know. So it was almost closing time, and you know, finally I, I walk walk up to somebody. Because uh, before that, I asked, "Oh, is it is the phone ready?" And they were checking their iPads, and you know, it wasn't on schedule that it wasn't on their schedule to say it was ready yet. So it was almost closing time. So lo and behold, I went up to the counter the Genius Bar and asked one of the guys, hey listen, uh, I've been waiting here for a while, um, they told me to come back at 7.30, it's like almost 9 o'clock now, and my phone, you, you guys still have my phone, so he, he checked on his iPad schedule, it wasn't there, so, you know, it couldn't, it couldn't be, still be, you know, in the process of being fixed, because, you know, apparently it was supposed to be ready by 7.30, it was like almost 9 o'clock now, so what he did was, he actually went, went to the back, and he found thanks to this guy named Alan, that was his, that was his name, the genius guy, thanks to him actually going to the back physically and checking, it was actually already ready, but they didn't put it in the, uh, in the, um, the electronic list, or the electronic QU for being, uh, ready already, so, it was ready all the time, but it wasn't logged in as ready, well, you know, make a long story short, um, yeah, I have my, 
gold iPhone 5s back, which is which is which is what I'm using to uh, shoot this video. And I'm really really glad that it's still the same iPhone. They didn't have to replace the whole phone because I know some people would prefer to have their whole phone replaced the new and get a new a brand new phone. But I, on the other hand, like this particular phone because it's gold. And I know they'd get me another gold one, but still, um, you know, I, I already put the Zag. I spent like 15 minutes meticulously putting the Zag covers on it. You know, the, the little clear uh, screen protector covers, both sides. Because I don't I don't really like using a uh, big bulky like phone cover. Plus, you know, I, I like I like having my iPhone gold iPhone 5s like almost bare naked. Well, it is bare naked because it just looks so much sleeker and so much cooler that way. So yeah, I had the uh, uh, the Zag, um, you know, military grade, like sheathed over it, so it still looks like it's bare naked, but it's actually protected. And uh, and yeah, the um, the camera, the back camera, focus finally got fixed after maybe about cumulatively like a whole day really of uh, trying to get it fixed. Going go, first going to, driving to one Apple store, then actually going to the flagship store, then going to another store. So after cumulatively like a whole day, I finally got um, my my rear rear camera focus issue fixed, and now it's a completely good new Apple iPhone 5s Gold. So I'm really pleased about that. All right, Night Bloomer signing out. Peace.